Hi. Welcome back to my channel. In this video I will explain you how to send MQTT message using Microsoft Power Automate. And also sending WhatsApp message from Microsoft Form. Let's get started. This is the concept. From Microsoft Form, data will be submitted, and it is as a trigger in Power Automate. Then, Power Automate will send MQTT message to broker. Then, Node Red will receive the message. Received message could be sent to WhatsApp using WhatsApp link node in Node Red. First step, we must create a Microsoft Forms to submit the data. In this form, I created two questions, destination number, and message. Now, the form ready to be used. Next step. Create Power Automate flow. Build an automated cloud flow, and select the triggers. When a new response is submitted, then, click Create button. In Power Automate flow, fill form ID of Microsoft form and when a new response is submitted connector, select the form that we created previously. Then, add new connector, get response details, fill form ID, and response ID. Then, add new step, and HTTP action connector, search it and select HTTP. On the HTTP box, fill some configuration, in method, select post. Fill the MQTT broker URL API for publishing message. Fill the headers. In body, fill the JSON format string. And authentication, fill username and password. Don't forget to save flow. Now, our flow is turned on and ready to run. Waiting for the trigger, submitted form. Okay. Next step is testing to send and receive MQTT message. Open WebSocket URL of MQTT broker, go to Tools, and select WebSocket, and click Connect button. In Subscribe section, fill the topic, WhatsApp, then, click Subscribe button. Now, WebSocket subscribed a topic with name WhatsApp. Back to Microsoft Form. Fill the form, and click Submit button. The from already submitted, and trigger the Power Automate to run the flow. After submitted the form, back to Power Automate, and check Run History of Power Automate flow. This indicates the flow ran successfully, there is no error. To check received message in MQTT Broker. Back to Broker WebSocket. In Messages section, below of Messages Received, there is new message appear, the message is same with data from submitted Microsoft form, contains number, and message. Until this step, we already send the MQTT message from Microsoft form, and message received in MQTT broker successfully using Power Automate. Next, go to additional steps. Next step is create node red flow for sending WhatsApp message. First, install WhatsApp link node. Click manage palette, in install tab, find the WhatsApp link node, Click Install. This is the simple flow to send received message from MQTT broker to WhatsApp destination number. Double-click WhatsApp admin node. In this node, I use WhatsApp Lite for WhatsApp client configuration. Next, in MQTT input node, configure the properties of the MQTT broker, such as, IP address, and also the port number. In function node, this is code of JavaScript to parse JSON format of receiving message, so we can get variable, number, and message, that will be used in next node. The last node is chats out node. This node will send the message based on the message payload, to the number from previous function node. This is the result. From Microsoft form, fill destination number, and message, then submit the data, after submitted, Power Automate will send the data to MQTT Broker, then in Node-RED, received message will be sent to WhatsApp number.